still too hot. Okay, it's now one o'clock. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> and welcome to Let's Explore the Music of the Special Interests Commonly Shared by Individuals with Disabilities. My name is James Williams. And my name is Haley Buxton. And together, Haley and I will be performing music from the special interests that many people with disabilities share in common. The idea behind this presentation began while during my travels as a self-advocate for autism and other disabilities. For the past 10 years, I have been traveling on the road from sea to shining sea to different parts of America, attending various events and hosting presentations on autism and disability issues. And this is my 10th year coming to the Family Cafe. Many years ago, I traveled to Tampa, Florida to give a presentation. And it was at Tampa, Florida that I met a girl with a disability who was really into Sonic the Hedgehog. She had a Sonic stuffed animal, and this Sonic stuffed animal helped her with her social anxiety, and she took it everywhere. One year later, I traveled to Southern California, the complete other end of America. While I'm in Southern California, I meet a girl with a disability who has the same Sonic stuffed animal, the same interest in Sonic, and who, and who took that Sonic stuffed animal everywhere she went as well. Those two individuals with disabilities did not know each other. Yet, both of them used the same Sonic the Hedgehog stuffed animal to help themselves with their social anxiety and have the same interest in Sonic the Hedgehog. And it was seeing that example that made me conclude, wow, what if people with disabilities, what if the special interests of people with disabilities wow. have things in common? What if they are not the random obsessions that so many people have defined for so long? For many years, having a special interest was considered a symptom of a disability. It was considered an obsession, something okay. that was often seen negatively related to someone's disability. Seeing the example of these two individuals who both enjoyed Sonic made me realize people with disabilities might have many interests in common. And I can tell you this, for the last 10 years I have been traveling to the Family Cafe. I've been playing my recorder to many people impromptu in many places. And I can tell you something, there are songs representing interests of people with disabilities that I play and I have entertained many people throughout this conference. So today, Haley and I will be presenting to you the music of the special interests commonly shared by people with disabilities. Now, one disclaimer, this is a musical performance. I am aware that some people here might have sound sensitivities in the room and might be sensitive to our music. Although we have tried to plan our performance with as many sound sensitivities in mind, if someone has to leave because the music is, is bothersome to them, we will not be offended. We will understand. Our performance will begin with a song from a very classic children's show, Dora the Explorer. Now, this song, now this song is not just a song, is not just a song in honor of the TV show Dora the Explorer. It also represents another very common special interest among people with disabilities, masks. And if anyone knows Dora the Explorer, Dora has a, has a talking mask, and she uses her mask to help her know where to go. And the mask has a very nice song introducing itself. So our first song today is gonna be in honor of the many people with disabilities that are really into reading masks and who are into Dora the Explorer, the mask song. Thank you. 
now, Haley will sing a song from the amazing musical, The Greatest Showman, Never Enough. I'm trying to hold my breath, let it stay this way, can't let this moment end. You set off a dream in me, getting louder now, can you hear it echoing? Darling, without you, all the shine of a thousand spotlights, all the stars we steal from the night sky will never be enough, never be enough. Towers of gold are still too little. These hands could hold the world, but it'll never be enough.
time now to perform a song from Rogers and Hammerstein's adaptation of that amazing fairy tale, Cinderella. Here's Haley. I'm as mild and as meek as a mouse. When I hear a command, I obey. But I know of a spot in my house where no one can stand in my way. In my own little corner, in my own little chair, I can be whatever I want to be. On the wing of my fancy, I can fly anywhere. And the world will open its arms to me. I'm a young Norwegian princess or a milkmaid. I'm the greatest prima donna in Milan. I'm an heiress who has always had her silk made by her own flock of silkworms in Japan. a game I can play with a cool and confident kind of air. Just as long as I stay in my own little corner, all alone in my own little chair. I can be whatever I want to be. I'm a thief in Calcutta. I'm a queen in Peru. I'm a mermaid dancing upon the sea. I'm a huntress on an African safari. It's a dangerous type of sport and yet it's fun. In the night I sally forth to seek my glory. Then I find I forgot to bring my gun. I am lost in the jungle all alone and unarmed when I meet a lioness in her lair. Then I'm glad to be back in my own little corner, all alone in my own little chair. Thank you, Haley. <laughs> understood and often have that happy place where they will sometimes imagine themselves to be many different things based on who they visualize themselves to be. Now, do we have any Steven Universe fans in the room? Do we know, have anyone who enjoys Steven Universe? Steven Universe is a TV show. It was the first ever Cartoon Network TV show created by a woman, and it is a show set in a universe where a group of beings exists known as the Crystal Gems. And in this universe, universe, Stephen, a boy who is half human and half Crystal Gem, works with three other Crystal Gems, Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl, to help fight the villains within this universe involving Earth and the Crystal Gems. I shall now continue by playing the theme song from Steven Universe.
everyone here that is into old style Halloween movies and old time horror movies. <laughs> Haley will now be singing a song from the musical version of that classic Halloween film, The Beetlejuice. Hey mom, dead mom, I need a little help here. I'm probably talking to myself here. But dead mom, I've got to ask, are you really in the ground? Cause I feel you all around me. Are you here, dead mom, dead mom, dead mom? I'm tired of trying to iron out my creases. I'm a bunch of broken pieces. It was you who made me whole. Every day, Dad staring at me like, I'll oh, hurry up, get happy, move along. Forget about your mom. Cause daddy's in denial, daddy doesn't wanna feel. He wants me to smile and clap like a performing seal. Ignored it for a while, but daddy's lost his mind for real. You won't believe the mess that we've become. destination and I'm your clone your strange creation you held my hand and life came easy now jokes don't land and no one sees me nothing seems to fit mama is this it are you receiving? I want something to believe in or I know. Take me where my soul can run or I'll be in my bedroom. Wake me when I'm 21. Daddy's moving forward. Daddy didn't lose a mom. Mama, won't you send a sign? I'm running A lightning strike or drop a nuclear bomb. No more playing daddy's game. I'll go insane if things don't change. Whatever it takes to make him say your name. Dead mom. SpongeBob SquarePants. 
It's an amazing cartoon show. A lot of people with disabilities love it. It tells the story of various friends and characters in the fictional underwater world of Bikini Bottom, especially SpongeBob the Sponge, Patrick the Starfish, Sandy the Squirrel, Mr. Krabs the Crab, and Squidward. <laughs> I shall now continue by playing the theme from SpongeBob SquarePants. Continuing our musical theater theme, Haley will now be singing a song from the classical Broadway musical based on the classic book of literature, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens, Oliver. As long as he needs me. Oh, yes, he does need me. In spite of what you see, I'm sure that he needs me. Who else would love him still when they've been used so ill? He knows I always will, as long as he needs me. I miss him so much when he is gone, but when he's near me, I don't let on the way I feel. The love I have to hide The hell I've got my pride As long as he needs me He doesn't say the things he should He acts the way he thinks he should but all the same, I'll play this game his way. As long as he needs me, I know where I must be. I'll cling on steadfastly. As long as he needs me, as long as life is long, I'll love him right or wrong, and somehow I'll be strong. As long as he needs me, if you are lonely, then you will know when someone needs you, you love them so. I won't betray his trust, though people say I must. I've got to stay true. Do we have any fans of Miraculous Ladybug? 
that gives people superpowers. And Ladybug and Cat Noir are assigned to defeat what are known as akumatized villains, created by the villain Hawkmoth, who is using a miraculous for evil purposes, while Ladybug and Cat Noir are using the miraculouses for good purposes in order to protect the city of Paris primarily from the akumatized villains. I shall now continue with the theme for Miraculous Ladybug.
high school musical is an amazing musical theory. It tells the story of various high school students at the fictional East High School, home of the Wildcats, that learn about the importance of pursuing their interests and passions, even when other people around them don't always support them. Now, the British Autistic Self-Advocate once had a very interesting comment about special interests and obsessions. He said, when is an obsession not an obsession? You know what his answer was? When it's about football. <laughs> Luke Jackson would often said that in his classic book, Freaks, Geeks, and Asperger Syndrome, to make a point about the fact that, as he observed, it was perfectly okay for non-disabled people to be obsessed with football. And people did not consider them weird or disabled for enjoying football. Yet he couldn't understand the double standard as to why his special interests as an autistic person were thought of as wrong and autistic when no one cared that his typical peers growing up were really into football. Likewise, when my mother was a teenager, she came of age during the 1960s, the height of Beatlemania. And like many teenage girls of her day, she loved the Beatles. And she and her girlfriends obsessed over them. She even had the honor of being able to see the Beatles twice in concert live, one of which involved front row seats. And, you know, I think about the fact that, you know, no one considered my mother and her girlfriends crazy or weird or disabled because they were into the Beatles. Yet we often have this double standard wherein we often marginalize the special interests of people with disabilities. It is my hope and Haley's hope that we change that. We learn to expect, we learn to respect and accept the unique special interests that people with disabilities might have. But to acknowledge this, I shall now continue by playing one of the Beatles' famous songs, Can't Buy Me Love. Kingdom of 
of isolation and it looks like I'm the queen. The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside. Couldn't keep it in, heaven knows I tried. Don't let them in, don't let them see. Be the good girl you always have to be. Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. Well, now they know. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Turn away and slam the door. I don't care what they're going to say. Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. Funny how some distance makes everything seem small And the fears that once controlled me can't get to me at all It's time to see what I can do to test the limits and break through No right, no wrong, no rules for me I'm free let it go, let it go, I'm one with the wind and sky, let it go, let it go, you'll never see me cry, here I stand, and here I stay, let the storm rage on. My power flurries through the air into the ground. My soul is spiraling in frozen fractals all around. And one thought crystallizes like an icy blast. I'm never going back. The past is in the past. the break of dawn let it go let it go that perfect girl is gone here i stand in the light of day let the storm rage on the cold never bothered me anyway
dancers may be on the floor. Dear, but my eyes will see only you. Only you have that magic technique. When we play, I go I can hear the sound of violins long before it begins. Make me thrill as only you. Other dancers may be on the floor, dear, but my eyes will see only you. Only you have that magic technique. When we sway, I go weak. I can hear the sound of violins long before it begins. Make me thrill as only you.
And I'm Haley Buxton. Thank you for coming to our performance. Let's explore the music of the special interests commonly shared by individuals with disabilities. We now have approximately five to seven minutes now for any questions if anyone wants to ask. And then afterwards, you can come up here, introduce ourselves, and yes, I have CDs for sale of my recorder music. Any questions? Uh, yes. Unfortunately, we're done with our music, but I'll be around the rest of the, con the conference and willing to play stuff. Any questions, anybody? I see a hand in the back. Are you self-taught? I've been taking lessons for between five and six years. I'm self-taught with my recorder. I didn't go to school anywhere to study music. Sorry, you're asking. Sorry. <laughs> I actually studied at the John Talley School of Music at Montclair State University in New Jersey. Yeah. Any questions? Anyone else? CDs for sale for $10. I also have recorders for schools, for schools for sale for $5. Come up, come up, introduce yourselves, don't be shy. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of the family cafe. And come check out our exhibit tables. Larissa and I both have tables at the vendor yes. hall.